what are the best tools for students? In this video, we'll be going through five of the best tools every student should be using to aid with their learning. Number one is Seneca Learning. Seneca is a free online quizzing and learning tool that is perfect for revision and consolidation of learning or to learn new content. Seneca Learning is a useful tool to be using because they have a myriad of different courses to choose from, be it Spanish, poetry, computer science, etc. Equally, teachers have the option to create their own class courses that you can work through, ensuring that you're learning all of the correct material. The reason why this is different to other quizzing methods like Google Forms is that the more questions you answer, the more you train the software's algorithm to understand what questions you struggle with or got wrong. And then it gives you more personalized quizzes and quiz questions in order to support you. The types of questions vary too, since it gives a mix of information cards, multiple choice questions, mind maps, true or false questions, connect the answers, as well as normal typing questions. Number two is Coggle. Instead of just writing down notes from a presentation, using Coggle is a great way to present notes or revision work, since it's a colorful, interactive online mind map. Mind maps can be incredibly versatile and useful tools for learning, no matter what subject. They can be used for note taking in class, brainstorming ideas, and for listing things you need to revise or revision content. These can be completed upon information you already know on a topic, or you can do these based upon some information booklets or websites during a research lesson. Number three is Sutori. Sutori Timeline is an interactive tool that enables you to creatively display information as well as add quizzes and videos. This works for learning new pieces of information needed for the main task or can simply be used as a form of revision tool by either sharing or noting down information needed or going over things most people went wrong during mock exams or tests. But these can also be created to help you remember and revise things in a creative and organized way. In this timeline software, you can attach videos, quizzes, puzzles, audio recordings, comments, images, did you know facts, as well as headings. Sutori can also be used to create newsletters, summaries of lessons and topics, and much more. These can either be created from scratch or Sutori have a myriad of different templates for you to choose from. Number four is Quizlet. Quizlet is an online learning tool where you can create or have assigned flashcards based upon subjects. This is an engaging revision tool, but is also fantastic for when learning new content and material in subjects such as science, English, media, and foreign languages. Flashcards are a great way to get students to learn new information, or even just for revision. And Quizlet can help with this with a variety of its testing methods, which include matching up, tests, game modes, learning, Quizlet Live, etc. And number five is Adobe Spark and Canva. Graphic design tools such as Adobe Spark and Canva are great to be using in class as a creative way to display and present work. On both platforms, you can create posters, banners, graphics, designs, drawings, presentations, social media posts, as well as basic videos. They also have a myriad of templates, images, graphics, fonts, and more for you to choose from to help you get started and easily create what you want. This can be used to create useful information booklets. It also encourages creativity as you can apply your knowledge and understanding of a topic. Alternatively, these can be set as assignments to show your work visually through things such as infographics. This can be based upon a research lesson, pre-existing knowledge, in-group projects, or to present your homework. Now, for more of the best tools we recommend for students, head on over to sites.google.com forward slash view forward slash ed tools and select student tools or check out the link in the description box below.